Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about eating correctly. So this is one of the biggest questions I think I get outside of what Titan Medical Center does or what therapies we offer. Um, and people ask me like, hey John, what should I eat? You know, how should I go about eating? What are the things I should look for? What are the things I should do? So my biggest thing and the, the first answer is, is keep it simple, okay? And prepare. It's all about preparing what you're going to eat beforehand and having a game plan. You know, if you're going to fly by the seat of your pants, you better know what you're going to do one way or the other. I mean, you know, if it's the last second, a drop of a hat, you know, you look at some different options and kind of pick what's your best one. But in most cases, I would prepare. And that's kind of meal prepping. That's where meal prepping comes in. And people are like, well, I don't know what to meal prep. I don't know how to do this. So like I said, keep it simple and keep it easy. So for me, the two easiest things are steak and chicken, all right? Steak and chicken breasts are probably the easiest things that you guys can cook yourselves and prep that will last a good amount of days, you know, three days, four days, and you guys will have food every day or every meal, and you guys can kind of change it up with some of the different things you're eating. Um, so here is where I'm gonna put my experience into play, and I like to cook steaks. So as you can see, I just cooked these last night, and I should have waited and I would have cooked them for you, but I think everybody watches me cook steaks enough um, you know, really light seasoning, a little bit of pepper, a little bit, a tiny little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of garlic. I don't add a lot of things on here. The more things you add on here, it's probably going to be worse, right? Um, and so if you cook these, you want to cook them just underneath, you know, where they're, they're like super rare. The reason is, is when you heat these things up, you might not want like dry steak, right? Or dry meat. And if you cook them to perfection the first time, after you heat them up in the microwave or the oven or whatever you're going to heat them up in, you know, they might be too dry for you. Me, I could pretty much just eat through it. The whole thing is, is you want to cook these things so you don't have to add sauces like A1 or these steak sauces. The reason is, is because those sauces most likely have things in there that are going to go against your diet. It's like high fructose corn syrup. And you'll hear me say that a lot because that's in a lot of different things and it's bad for you. So you want to look for these things that aren't bad for you to put on here. So like I said, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic. You throw these bad boys in. I usually do eight, um, you know, eight ounces or 10 ounces, you know, fillets. Or if you can't, you know, you don't want to get fillets, they're too expensive. New York strips are pretty lean. Um, so you want to get the most leanest meat possible. And I know you're saying, well, you know, I want it to taste good and fat or marble taste good. Well, that's fat, you know, that is what it is. Now, there's good fats and there's bad fats. But at that point, you want it to be the leanest possible. You know, maybe just a little bit of marble you might see here or there, but not a lot. This is real lean meat, and it's good for you guys. So steak in particular, and the reason I pick steak is, hey, I love steak, right? Two, the amino profile in steaks is one of the highest, okay? So you're going to get the highest uh, retention of amino acids out of some of these steaks, which is good for you. Your body needs it, you know, for recovery. It needs it for building muscle and a lot of these different aspects that you want. And you are what you eat. So at that point, you're gonna have to pick a carb. Now, try to go to the simple carbs, you know, like you know, a baked potato with not butter or margarine or a whole bunch of sour cream all over it, that's no good. You know, you wanna add just a teeny bit if you're gonna do it. I mean, just a little white bond maybe. I don't even do that. So if you wanna start and maybe work your way, that's the best way to do it. The next thing is, is white rice or brown rice. You know, a lot of people, well, oh, brown rice is better than white rice. Well, you know, rice is a good one either way. Now, you can either cook rice in a rice cooker that you can buy very cheap, um, you know, anywhere pretty much. You can have it delivered from Amazon, anywhere, or you can order it from your favorite Chinese restaurant. Now, watch out for some rice. Now, I know this is some real, real cheap rice. Um, they were saying that there could be plastics in there that look like rice. Um, that's one thing. So just make sure that whatever rice you're getting, it looks really good. You know, I mean, you can tell by, you know, is it soft? You can kind of look through it. You know at that point and you can heat this right up with your steaks so this is really simple and really easy for me on the go literally when i'm coming downstairs getting ready to go out to titan or i come back home and i'm starving i can literally throw these in the oven just to heat up or i can throw in the microwave if there's no oven around i can put them in for like four minutes everything's heated up completely nice and hot and ready to go so this is where your meals come to play and like i said if you get you know you do get a rice cooker and you cook a pot of rice you know, that rice will last you for a couple days. If you're cooking eight to 10 steaks, plan out your meals. If you're gonna eat three meals a day and you don't want to eat steak every meal, like I do, um, you can mix in some chicken there too. So you can cook some chicken breast and you can cook some steaks. It would take you probably about 
40 minutes, 45 minutes all together and you can cook yourself three to four days of meals, proper meals. And if you don't wanna cook the rice, cause the rice you can cook right along with the steaks or the chicken that are in the oven, cause it's a rice cooker that's right next to you. You guys can order it. It's on demand delivery from Uber Eats or wherever you're ordering from. It's real simple and real easy. The next thing is, John, how much should I eat of this? And really just depends on you, the person. You know, what macros you need, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. This really depends on your weight and everything that's going on, what you're trying to do. So if you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to go into a calorie deficit, okay? And that's eating underneath the calories that your body needs to sustain that current weight. And that's really where your portions will come into play. If you need help with something like this, we have our Titan Medical Fitness app, which breaks down all your meals and how much you should be consuming too as well. Um, you know, two, three meals, uh, the carbohydrates, the fats, the proteins, what's your macros, okay? So you hear that word a lot, macros. Now, the next thing is, is if you're not really seasoned, so you can't really eyeball how much a cup is or how much two cups are, that's where these, you know, these little cups come to play. So you can actually weigh out or they have these great um, little food weighing machines, you know, scales. You can put them on that are digital. You can go buy them very cheap and inexpensive and you can weigh your food out afterwards. Now, you know, should I weigh it out before John or afterwards? Like before I cook it or after I cook it? Now, I, I would always weigh it after I cook it because that's the weight you're gonna consume at that point. If you cook it a little bit beforehand, it might be, you know, have some more water in it. It might weigh a little bit more. So that's just what I do. Um, some other people might do it a different way and that's totally acceptable if it's working for them. If it's not working for you, then you wanna change things up and make sure that it is working for you. Give it a decent amount of time to prove itself, but if it's not working, you know, don't drive yourself crazy. Well, why is why is this not working? You might have to tweak some things, um, change it up, and that's where you'll start seeing the results. And then when you start seeing the results or start seeing it working, stick on that path, stay consistent, right, and do what you need to do to get the results you're trying to get. And food is a great great thing okay this is what your body works off of all day long from your energy you know your cognitive enhancement like your, your brain thinking like this all runs off these certain things like carbohydrates and stuff like that now i see some people where they might be carb cycling where they might take carbs out for a couple days and they add a little bit of carbs back in and it starts tricking your body there it starts utilizing it as far as energy now your body is running off two different things it's either running off carbohydrates or stored fats in the body now for me, I would really like it, and that's where keto and all that comes into play. Now, I would like it to burn off the fats of my body as, as much as possible if you're trying to trim down and trying to cut down. So that's a good one, it's a good way to do it. But this is the basics, so stick to your basics. Now, you always wanna add a vegetable in too. I'm pretty bad about adding vegetables in, so I try to get those from other supplemental sources, which I probably shouldn't. But at that point, that's just the way I do it, and it's worked for me. So I know it works for me, you know, you might have something that works for you a little bit better. Um, just stay on that path. The whole thing is to be consistent, stick with it, and make it a lifestyle change. Don't make it something that you cannot stick to. And don't use the excuse, well, I can't eat clean because I just can't stick to it. That's not an excuse. Um, so at that point, don't make excuses, right? Want to get the results, you got to put in the effort. Nobody's going to put it in for you. So I hope these little tips have helped you guys out. If you guys want more of these tips, just let us know. And I'll be coming with fresh content to show you guys some other meals and different things that will help you guys get the results with your nutrition and with the results with your physical appearance and health inside. So I'm John from Titan. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll see you again.